This is Gutter Life, the community that makes me say I hate my wife even though I don't even have a wife and that says a lot about the community. They're definitely one of the most smartest communities out there. Just look at this. If you like men, you will instantly gain the ability to have children. Clearly the smartest community of all time. Now we're going to dive into one of the best parts of the community. Gacha Hit is an abomination created by children and unfortunately, it's also how some people will find out about Gacha life. So basically, the community is fucked. Gacha Hit is usually used when children are trying to make their story more edgy or mature. Even though they're trying to make it more mature, it's, it just makes it more obvious that it's made by a child. What the fuck is Slenderman doing here? Hey guys, this is sorry, Lady Will. Shadow will appear in my head, even though the room is as bright as my future. Oh, never mind that. What the f- Now that video actually encouraged me to make gacha hate because from what I've seen, having a microphone up your ass will make you go against the laws and physics. There's still a lot of people that are trying to justify this by saying, Rule 34 exists and if you look up all the kids game, you'll have porn too. I'm pretty sure we all know Rule 34 exists, but if you're going to create porn in a game that's obviously directed to children that barely got through the ABCs, it's better to keep your weird shit to yourself. Trying to justify it by saying, Our kids game has born too. It's such a horrible argument. That's like saying, My great grandfather committed mass homicide, so that means I can too. Okay, obviously I'm exaggerating by comparing gacha sex to a fucking homicide, but the fact that our kids game has to the fall out of it doesn't mean you can do it too, because it's a kids game, you twat. Also, there's a whole playlist of gacha here. This truly says a lot about society. You yeah, afraid of gacha hit? Get ready for gacha pee. Yep, that's the thing now. Are we are, are we even surprised at this point? A lot of the gacha pee videos are just slideshows of the character having funny PMP3 file playing and your clothing's turning yellow. Because we all know that if you piss your pants, it will turn yellow like a fucking tie-dye. Just like every gacha video, there will be a playlist for it. Great. Holy shit guys, leak and man movie. <laughs> There's also this video called I have a stomach ache and diarrhea which is basically just me in the morning except you don't hear a storm of the upcoming shit that's about to be unloaded. This is top tier content, I will definitely watch 2 minutes of a gacha character shitting and 5 minutes of them shitting on a dude. You know you could have done something better with your life, you know like drawing or something or, or just make a normal gacha video but instead you made 7 minutes of gacha poop. We truly live in a society like this isn't even a joke anymore. This is a society. Making an appropriate gacha videos apparently wasn't enough, so they decided to make school shooting videos. It's obvious that some of them are edgy 10 year olds that just found out about dark humor. You know, those type of kids that wouldn't stop repeating the same school shooting joke every 5 seconds like it's a misfits video. And also the fact that they made a school shooting video on a platform for children. You could have just made a normal gacha video like I met this guy with cat ears, but instead you chose to make a school shooting mini movie with gore. I don't have anything to say other than school shooting gacha video bad and I don't want to repeat myself because if I do I will be going against what I said in my last video. Yes, there's rape stories in gacha life and unfortunately there's a shit ton of it. Some of it are already fetishizing it. Who the fuck gets naked in the bathroom and falls asleep? Or making a painfully fake story to gain attention. Oh boy, I sure can't wait for the upcoming sequel of Red Story and Gacha Life. This is one of the reasons why the Gacha community is put in such a bad light because of bullshit like this. Every time I see a Gacha profile picture in the YouTube comment sections, they will often be bullied by others because of children thinking rape is cool. But sure, if you put it in a Gacha video, the same case as Gacha 8. Shipping is when you fantasize about two or more people being in a relationship and it's usually romantic. Unfortunately, I'm going to talk about minors getting shit by cunts not respecting people's boundaries. For example, Tommy and X double. They're both minors and they've already said in the past that they're very 
not comfortable with pretty obvious since they're a little below the age of 18 but for a certain group of people it's, it's not obvious yeah. because the brain cells they wasted on sexualizing and shipping little kids are the only brain cells they will ever have so to have them know basic things like boundaries is apparently impossible for them Depressed aesthetic is the most cringiest thing I've ever seen in my life because this aesthetic heavily relies on glitch effects or black clothing and if you wear black that means you're depressed and if you ever use glitch effects in any way Depression Depression isn't something you can identify by just looking at a person wearing a black hoodie or someone with a black hair looking at you Max BT This is also a problem that is not only in gacha life it's spread across the edgy teens and definitely used by people with Bart Simpson's profile picture Now let's talk about the one that started gacha life in the gacha community they will say how loony is disappointed because of gacha hit and all that even though he added sexual clothing in the game like lingerie link okay i don't know how to pronounce that one the people that justify this by saying well it's directed to teenagers that that just makes it so much worse the fact that i have to say this is fucking abysmal because they're playing that 13 year olds can be exposed to this kind of stuff and it's pretty obvious that luna doesn't give a shit about anything happening in the community like okay sure he did try to make it so you can have same color as, as your skin for clothing but it's only for one game and people can easily bypass it he doesn't even bother to make it for the older games because he knows if he's gonna update it he's going to up Put it disguised as a whole new game even though it's just a few UI changes and only a few new things are in the game. A simple clothing tweak about colors barely helps because the air thrust emotes and twerk emotes are still in the game. This is a kids game by the way. There's also this funny clothing in gacha and sexual roleplay chats in another real uploaded game gacha verse. A hotspot for incoming predators. He also makes references on Boku no Pico, a shotakon pido hentai. Children that are playing the game will have no idea what the hell that is so they will look it up thinking that will be a normal anime only to find out that it's cp and they are not on the watch list for looking it up remember when this was just a normal innocent kids game actually scratch that it wasn't even that innocent in the first place to say that it was ruined by the community is not wrong but the creator is also to blame here the gacha community is a shithole and the creator is even worse a mistake i did in the past was that i joined the community and i had to deal with unnecessary dramas literally about ocs that you make in gacha looking back at it it's really not unexpected since the community is full of children and i'm really confused why i even joined in the first place then again it was 2019 so i was literally 12 so that explains a lot that's all for this minor week i don't know my non-existent upload schedule is fucked mate and uh i might be away for a bit because i got schooled on you know and it will be started on november 8th so you know uh, video will be passed you know video, video progress will be okay thanks for watching and bye